Hello guys, it is Conte here, playing through Sonic Lost World PC, and I'm going to do another video with missions. So I'll see what does so much I want for me to do. Hmm. So since this mission calls for a cyan, for a cyan laser, I'm going to. Eh. Well, I'm not really sure which mission I should choose. Um. But I actually had a mission that involved bouncing on enemies, so... But anyway, I'm gonna do this. One... So, last time I tried to do these missions, I figured out a key. I figured out an idea for... I figured out a way to do bouncing effectively, which is to... You'll notice the locking mechanism that appears on the motobugs. I figured out that if you wait long enough... That if you wait long enough, the locking, the target lock goes away, then you can bounce on enemies. Unfortunately, that doesn't work so well with motobugs because, yeah. So, probably one of the key things that technique would work on is an enemy that would stand still. It, it's not exactly the best with motobugs, but I can tell that it. But I can tell you that it works better on certain other enemies. Actually, it's working okay now. Huh. Actually, I might have this done a bit more quickly than I anticipated. So basically, I'm just gonna like face away from this guy for a while, then his walking mech will go off, and then I can do that. Now these guys are... These bat brains here are also good enemies to do bouncing with because they stand still. So notice how I can just kind of stand here and then wait for the walking mech to go away then do business with these guys. <laughs> oh, come on. left. Like, I can check really quickly after I get rid of this guy. I can just click the Omocho icon and then see. Oh, so I have to do 30 enemies by bouncing, so that's gonna take me a pretty long time to do. But what I can do is actually get my mission with the Cyan Laser done. If I go back a little bit, I think I can find those guys. Then use them. I think I only have like five, uh, actually probably like 16 more enemies to go. That's so this may take a long. Probably gonna take a long time. Out what these 
crystal balls, you kind of want to destroy them. You want to jump on top of them because when you jump below them, that's what gets you hurt. So now I just need to find another laser wisp and find a good place to use it with these guys. I should also move. best bet would probably be to would probably be go be to go backwards because I actually saw a few enemies here. I know I could have gotten more enemies if I wanted to, but the thing is I kinda I kinda need to find the place that I'm not really sure there are many more enemies out there. So while I'm at it, I'm gonna actually I'm gonna check the film out first. So if I have to do, I'm probably just gonna do this level because it has it has laser wisps, so uh, it'll actually make the actually wait. Well, at least I got that done. So now I just need a good place to fit. Now I just need a good place to use this guy. Okay. It would help if these guys. It would really help if these guys weren't scattered all over the place. Ow. Okay, fine, you got me. The problem is motobugs aren't really that good because they're moving around all over the place. Let's kind of move on to somewhere else. I think I know a better place. Of course, it's maybe, but still. Whoa. Laser! About right there. Okay, that wasn't too effective, but luckily there are more laser wisps, so we'll get another chance. If I could just. Well, that looks like an opportunity, actually. That's like, um. Is that like, um, six monobugs, I think? Okay, that's actually pretty good. Actually, you know what? While I'm here, I think I'm just gonna, like, empty out my item bag. I'll use that. Actually, you know what? I think the invincibility would be a, a bit more... would be more appropriate in another place, so I'm gonna save it. The irony is just sickening. Boy. 
we got three missions done, that's actually pretty good. Now that I'm probably gonna save for when I have to do my next Collecting Rings mission. That one I could probably nix anyway. So... I'm gonna check with Omo Chao if I can find him. Hmm. Well, ironically, yeah, that's kind of ironic. I have. I've been given a ring mission, and now I have that big item set of rings, and I think. You know what I said about having the infant. Have a, having the invincibility earlier, that might actually help if I have to do, if I have to use it here. So anyway, I might as well get this out of the way. Oh, that's, wait, that actually gives me 50 rings. I'll probably save that. While I'm here, I think I might as, there's a star ring up here, so I might as well get that. Fate is to be destroyed. Why don't you just accept that? Lie down and die. actually a good place to collect rings, too. The stage itself is kind of long, but... The stage itself is actually pretty long, but... You can kind of... But it's still a good place for rings. Yeah. This wisp is, this wisp is pretty helpful for getting rings, too, but... Oh 
that. This place it kinda hurts, figuratively and literally, that you can't jump. So you have to So you have to dodge obstacles by maneuvering around them.
Luckily, Zavik's not... hasn't been too hard, but I'm not really... kind of nervous that I'm gonna botch this. Now, don't break too easily. So at this point, it doesn't matter how much you hurt him, because... basically, your objective is to knock him... knock him from... is to knock him from one side of the... to one side of the stage or the other. So, I have to lock on him both sides, but... It's kind of strange. For some reason, I think you have to knock him... I think you have to knock him out on the... On the right side of the stage, so... Just notice... Even though I lock all times... Oh. Darn it. So basically, the key there is to... Lock on to Zavik all you can and then attack. Problem is, I didn't really get anything done though, so I'm probably just gonna see if I can speed along through and do the mission I've given. Your fate is to be destroyed. Why don't you just accept that? Lie down and die! Oh yeah! Like, 
jumped because jumped up because the bar. Wow, I just watched that. So, but I guess not. As far as I know, this seems like the stage is a good stage to get rings, but I think it's, but personally I think it goes on for too long. I've been going for like a few minutes and I haven't really gotten as many rings as some people who want to. The Late hard part. Over, Hedgehog. So basically, I think what I'm gonna do is just kinda wait for him to go a distance and then wait for him to go his distance and then or do that. Like, I know I got hurt already, but I might as well, like, try to get my ring count get my rings all counted up and all. I would want to restart this, but I. Don't break too easily. But the thing is, then I would lose all the rings that I saved up, and that would. Then doing this would be a whole waste. Let's see if I can knock this guy off. I'm gonna wait, then let all these things lock. Next meeting looks to be interesting. Yeah. Okay, so I know I didn't get anything done, but. At least I made some progress toward getting 3,500 rings, so I have like a thousand rings, so over a thousand actually, so that's not bad. Thanks for watching this video, I hope you enjoyed and that you want to like, comment, and subscribe, but just react to the video as you wish, and if you want to check out more videos, check out the links in the annotations or my YouTube channel homepage.